guys what's going on welcome to another video and hope you guys are doing well today in this video we're going to be talking about vengeance the mechanic in kata that was introduced within kata that provides an attack power buff equal to five percent of the damage taken as attack power for tanks up to a maximum of 10 percent of your health now in tier 11 so the first tier of kata raiden in normal gear i have around 140k health self buffed without focusing on stamina offering a maximum of 14,000 attack power bonus on top of my already 7k attack power. Imagine being a tank running around with 20k attack power. It's crazy. And again, this is all self-buff, so in Rage you'll have even more stamina, even more base attack power, everything. Now it seems that based on my testing, Vengeance in 4.3.4 is calculated post-mitigation. So it's based on the damage you take, and it's calculated after you've mitigated that damage and things like that so taking the actual number that you see on your screen dividing it by 20 to calculate the five percent and add it to your attack power this does mean that like long strings of blocks parries dodges can actually quite heavily influence your vengeance uh however extremely good tanks may be able to play around this with like mechanics by unequipping their shields to get hit a few more times more consistently so no blocks or just taking more damage to get higher dps and higher attack power for like a dps burn phase this is extremely min maxi and the average player won't do this and won't need to do this but it can be played around with quite heavily now this gives us a few things as tanks firstly threat should no longer be an issue right like you should just be able to go through and it would take something extremely good player doing lots of damage to be able to pull threat secondly then is stamina now provides an actual damage increase albeit it's quite minor like i'm not focusing on health at all i've around 140k health my dk in similar gear that is focusing on stamina has around 160 170 so i'd be gaining maybe a couple of thousand more attack power which is big but not the be all and end all Vengeance, based on my testing, diminishes over a period of 30 seconds, wiping itself out completely over 30, uh, after 30 seconds. This means that fights that have tank swaps could see notable DPS for tanks if you're regularly swapping between the two tanks. Now, this mechanic in general is a positive change and allows tanks with minimal worry to maintain threat, and there are a few niche moments that can be quite frustrating. So first... Beginning a two-tank fight, your main tank will receive lots of vengeance, whilst your off-tank will receive none or next to none, until the first tank swap. This can cause some th first issues on the, uh, on the on the swap, because one will have like 15-20k attack power, and the other one will have 6-7. One way to solve this, if the fight allows it, is to let the off-tank take a few hits before giving the boss to the main tank at the start of the pull. One, this will just give your off-tank a lot more damage anyway. But two, allowing you to do this means that the off-tank will have a little bit more attack power ready for that switch. Druids then. So Kitty Weaving doesn't become exceptionally overpowered with this, unfortunately. Can you imagine just giving a Kitty like 14k more attack power? Crazy. Druids, in fact, lose all of their vengeance when switching from bear to cat form and will have to rebuild it up when they're next tanking. Generally, though, this is still worth it for getting bleeds up in Kitty and things like that. Uh, the third one then is Warriors. Prop Warriors have Vigilance, which generates, I believe, 50% Vengeance based on the damage the target takes. So you could put this on the main tank and you would be able to have a decent amount of Vengeance going through the entire fight. So overall, this is a really, really positive addition to the game, in my opinion. Really interested to hear what you guys think about this. And I mean, my pally hits some insane numbers. Like, crits on my pally that my main elemental chami who's 20 eye levels higher would feel good about so thanks for watching guys more cat videos coming soon catch you later goodbye